let's go through a couple of comparisons. So we have lip lift versus lip filler, right? Who should get what and, and, and when and what's, what's the best option um, for someone. So lip filler, we talked about some of its um, disadvantages like projecting the lip, bringing the upper lip down, covering up some of the upper teeth. The other disadvantage is that you have to keep doing it. The body metabolizes lip filler pretty readily. So every six months, people are going back and back for, for lip filler. One of the things that isn't talked about is the amount of scar tissue that develops in the actual red lip from lip filler. No one likes to talk about that, but, it, but it's something that I'm seeing in my patients who are in their 40s. They've been getting lip filler for like 10 years and they've stopped getting it, right? It's been years since they last got their lip filler, but now they still have this like fullness in their lips and they can't get rid of it and it's scarring. Imagine every time you're getting your lip filler, like 30 times during each session, there's a needle going in and out of your red lip, which is a very kind of delicate area. Each time that needle goes in, there's a tract of scar that, that forms. So over time can be a big problem. Downsides of lip, lip filler, but the upside is that it, it for the most part is a temporary solution it can be dissolved so you don't have a kind of a scar at the base of your nose which for a lot of people um, is a plus lip lift again benefits of it we talked about what it can do for the face more of a permanent solution disadvantages of course the number one thing is there's a scar sorry someone's asking you can scarring from lip filler be reversed uh, that's a great question not really there's no great way to break down the scar after years that has formed in the lips. In terms of the lip lift scar, which is definitely gonna form. I mean, I've seen questions online where people have said, well, how do I get a, a lip lift with the one that doesn't leave scar? There's maybe one study that I saw where people were using some endoscopic approach and put it, putting a stitch through the columella of the nose and lifting the, that, that's not gonna last. So you can get that procedure and avoid a scar, but that's just not gonna last. Now you can have the incision run into the nose as I kind of alluded to earlier. But again, the disadvantage there is that you're lifting the lip into the nose, right? If you're cutting into the nose for the incision, so you're creating sort of an unnatural boundary. I avoid that. The scar is definitely, there's gonna be a scar and there are ways to minimize that. Surgical technique matters, it's important. There are also things you can do afterwards like laser resurfacing, dermabrasion, revision surgery that, that can help. So I always tell my patients that that's the number one thing in my mind for like number one disadvantage of a lip lift and the number one thing that we're gonna to continue to look at and work on um, as someone recovers. So that's really important.